What was there in your, in your life, especially your early life, that would give you the thoughts to fill so many books? Uh, hard work, training, and a good environment. Uh, I was very fortunate in uh, having lived as a child, and as a young boy, in an environment where there were many people I could revere, people concerned with problems of inner life, of spirituality, of integrity. People who have shown great compassion and understanding for other people. This is a great hour in Jewish history and one that probably occurs only once in 200 years. In this hour, we, the living, are the people of Israel. The tasks begun by the patriarchs and the prophets and continued by their descendants are now entrusted to us. We are either the last Jews or those who will hand over the entire past to generations to come. We will either forfeit or enrich the legacy of the ages. The, the significance, significance of Judaism, Judaism does not lie in its being conducive to mere survival of a particular people, but rather in its being a source of spiritual wealth, a source of meaning relevant to all peoples. Our concern ought therefore to be less about technique and more about content. Judaism is not merely a matter of external forms, it's also a matter of internal living. Is Judaism still aware of inner living? Our task then must be to teach Judaism as a subject of the deepest personal significance. One of the supreme things we need to worry about is what a Jew stands for in terms of ideas as well as in terms of inner experience. Judaism is an answer to man's ultimate questions. And unless we understand those questions, we can't even recognize the answer. In a, In a sense, sense, education ought to be a quest for forgotten questions and an endeavor to relate our tradition to those questions. Our effort must be to interpret Judaism in terms of human existence as well as in terms of the Jewish situation. It is important that each of us concern himself about the group, but it is equally important that we concern ourselves about what we are as individuals, as human beings. I should like to suggest as a goal of Jewish education that every Jew become a representative of the Jewish spirit. That every Jew become aware that Judaism can be an answer to the ultimate problems of human existence and not merely a way of handling observances. The Hebrew term for education means not only to train, but also to dedicate, to consecrate, and to consecrate the person must be our goal, as difficult as it may be. We, we must, must enable, enable him to participate and share in the spiritual existence of Jewish living. To explain to him what it means to live as a likeness of God. What is involved in being a Jew? Duties of the heart, not only external performance. The ability to experience the suffering of others. Compassion and acts of kindness. Sanctification of time, not the mere observance of customs and ceremonies. The, the joy, joy of discipline, discipline, not the pleasures of conceit. Sacrifice, not casual celebrations. Contrition, rather than national pride. Central to the success of this reverential approach to education, which teaches the living spirit of Judaism, is the teacher. In Judaism, there is no higher distinction than that of being a teacher. This has been so throughout our history. We do not celebrate kings and heroes, we celebrate teachers, Moses and Rabbi Akiva. The teacher is the central pillar of Jewish living, past, present, and future. According to our tradition, God himself teaches. This, this implies, implies that, that the, the teacher has a very great responsibility. He must mobilize all his personal power, love, insight, and understanding. The most clever gimmicks will not achieve anything of lasting value. Unless, Unless there is an inner engagement and attachment, a personal appreciation of the subject matter, the finest instructor will become ineffective. Most important of all, the teacher, in order to guide others into the promised land of the Jewish heritage, must have been there himself. When asking himself, do I stand for what I teach? Do I believe what I say? He must be able to answer in the affirmative. The modern teacher is a link in the chain of tradition. He is the intermediary between the past and the present as well. 
in a sense, he is also the creator of the future of our people. In, in that, that future, future, if the Jewish religion is to be taught to American Jews, each one of us bears a genuine personal responsibility, for the Jewish people is represented by every individual Jew. We need to remember where we came from, and the way to do this is by study of our great books. We are God's stake in human history. God has a stake in the life of every person. God never exposes humanity to a challenge without giving humanity the spiritual power to face that challenge. Admittedly, the challenge today is enormously great. We live in a time when we are going through several revolutions simultaneously. Political, social, scientific, technological, and spatial. This has never happened in history before. But, but we, we must, must exert the spiritual will to focus the attention of our minds and hearts on the problems we face. We cannot avoid them by reaching for the moon or grasping for life elsewhere. We must turn our efforts to rediscovering the true value and dignity of man. What man's life means as a totality in its great dimensions. His, His great, great potential, potential for the creative arts. arts for the advancement of science in the search for peace and understanding, for acts of charity. The tragedy of man is that he is so great and that he fails to recognize his greatness. Jean-Paul Sartre has said, man, man is, is condemned, condemned to, be free. to be free. God has given him choice, the greatest obligation of freedom. He is waiting for man to exercise that choice. Man can no longer afford to compromise by accommodations not premised on moral value. The choice for man and humanity in this age lies not in the stars, but right here on blessed planet Earth. Will mankind fulfill its great destiny? Who can predict? We can only hope, pray, and demand.